notice that sometimes there's a lot of variation in consistency. Sometimes it's harder, sometimes it's softer. What is that about? I always assume that's, that's your diet, or Diets, how much fiber you eat. Sure, or? diet's a big part of it. So what we have here is made of clay, um, which we're going to handle. Obviously, it's blue. So We didn't cover that color. I think before <laughs> we talk about changes in consistency, we should talk about what's the ideal consistency. And this is the ideal stool. It's a single piece. I'm not sure if you want to hold it, but it's no, soft. I'm good. It's soft, and we don't handle it, but it's soft. It's somewhat uh, squishy. But the main thing is it's coming out in a single piece, and it should be effortless. You shouldn't be straining. It shouldn't feel like a workout to have a bowel movement. It should come out nice and effortless. And this is a sign of what you're talking about, mm -hmm. which is that you're getting enough fiber a in your diet. diet. Healthy diet, drinking enough water. This is kind of what you want to shoot for. Now, we have variations on either end, right? You right. can have loose, runny stools. And there's a couple things that we see commonly uh, as a gastroenterologist that can cause this sort of low-grade, loose, runny stool. First thing is lactose intolerance. So some very people, common. very, very common. common. Right. Some people don't have the ability to digest lactose, which is found in dairy products like milk, like cheese, ice cream, all the things that we enjoy. It's usually pretty obvious. You have a big bowl of ice cream, and an hour later, you're kind of running to the bathroom. You're ill. Yeah. Patient, people usually just figure that out. Right. The thing that is also becoming very common is gluten intolerance. So we have some bread here, and there's a condition called celiac disease. Of course, yeah. Which many people have heard of, where folks actually react, and the intestines become inflamed when they eat gluten products, which is wheat and rye and barley. And they can't process it. They right? can't process it, and so it runs through their system. They get loose, runny stools. But the other interesting part is that even people who don't have celiac disease can have something called gluten intolerance, which is just like lactose intolerance. The intestines are perfectly fine. But some people just can't process it. If you don't it. have celiac and you're gluten intolerant, is there a pill like there is for, for people There's that not. love cheese? Wow. There's not. So many people will just decide to go on a gluten-free diet, even if they don't have celiac disease, and they feel a lot better, and their stools end up nice and, nice and firm. Gotcha. So okay. here, I think neither of us want to pick this one up. This is basically no. hard, crumbly, pebbly like stool. rabbit pellets. Yeah, this is, like. this is a sign of constipation. This is the other extreme. Right, right. And this is really what we talked about. This, is, this means you're not getting enough of things on the plate here. We have you're high fiber foods. You're not getting fiber if Correct. this is right. So your stool's not cohesive. It's breaking apart. It may be hard to pass. It may come out in like four, five, six, seven pieces as opposed to one. And this is the remedy. Oatmeal, prunes. Salads. All the stuff your mother, your grandmother you told you about, right? Absolutely. And, the, and the, the magic number is about 25 grams. So if you can get about 25 grams of fiber in your diet per day with adequate water intake, you should be fine. Water is a big part of everything, right? General health. Absolutely. Yes. Water is a big part. You know, I feed people all the time because I love to cook, and it surprises me how many people don't want water with their dinner. You know yeah, what I mean? It's amazing. So we have one more, th one more thing which we never want to see. This is a very thin caliber stool. Again, if this happens for a day, it may be because you are straining, you're a little constipated, and you're just trying to force it out. Mm -hmm. But if this is progressive, which means that over weeks to months, if you see that your stools are just, they started out like that, but they're getting more and more narrow, it could be a sign that there's a blockage or a narrowing in the colon. And the point to make here is we never want anyone to get to the point where their stools look like this. Right. And the way to prevent that is at age 50 or earlier, if you have a family history of colon cancer. This is cancer, so important. Everyone should get a, a screening right? colonoscopy, and that Absolutely. will prevent cancer and prevent things like Men this. Men and women, so important, so important.